Praise the Lord, everybody. Pastor Nick here with another devotion from the book of Psalm. So glad you can join me this morning and every morning at 7 a.m. As we continue to journey through the scriptures, uh, walk through this book, uh, we're going to believe God together, trust him um, to reveal himself to us through the scriptures, reveal ourselves and reveal his will. If you haven't done so, please like, share and subscribe. Uh, let somebody know that we're on this morning. Um, if you're new to the journey, welcome and God bless you. We're so glad you can meet us here this morning. Of course, follow me on my platforms if you can. Uh, follow the church and follow Bishop. Uh, let's get into this. Psalm 93. Uh, this particular psalm is an enth enthronement psalm. An enthronement psalm. Uh, which means it celebrates God as king and as him reigning forever. God is king. He reigns forever. No one can outvote him. No one can overthrow him. No one can take him out. He is the king that reigns forever. For all of eternity, our God is still sovereign. So he says here in Psalm 93, the Lord is king. He is robed, clothed in majesty. He is the greatness of our God. He's clothed in majesty. The Lord is robed. He is girded with strength. He has established the world. It shall never be moved. So God is that great king. He's clothed with majesty. He's robed and girded with strength. He established the world. It shall never be moved. You know, until God changes things, the earth is here. He says, your throne is established from old. You are from everlasting. God reigned before creation. He reigns during creation. And he's going to reign in the consummation of all things at the end when he brings all things to himself. He says, the floods have lifted up, O Lord. The floods have lifted up their voices. So the flood is going to come. The floods lift up their roaring. More majestic than the thunders of the mighty waters, more majestic than the waves of the sea, the majestic on high is the Lord. He's given us the imagery of the chaotic waters coming, but God reigning above the waters. God reigning above the waters, which means God is never overwhelmed by how much water is coming because he reigns above the waters. Jesus shows us this. Um, on one storm, he's sleeping on the boat. Uh, the water's getting in. It's starting to fill the boat up. The disciples panic. Jesus gets up and rebukes the wind and the, and the waves. And they're like, yo, what manner of man is this? They, they can't see the God man at work. They're, they're confused about what he's doing. But God is trying to show us he has power over storms, power over chaos, even when uh, they were on the boat and Jesus is walking on the water, the Greek gives us the imagery that he's moseying on the water. He's taking his time. He's relaxing. He's not panicked. They're panicked during a storm. But his majestic nature and his power allows him to walk in the middle of chaos. They think it's a ghost, but it's God himself in, in, hum, in humanity overcoming the waters again just like the spirit dwelled on the waters in the darkness in genesis chapter one god is not overwhelmed by your storm you may be overwhelmed by your storm but what god shows us if he's not panicking during it calm down some relax let god do his thing and like peter with his permission, step out on the water. Take control in the environment. Don't pay attention to the storm. Keep your eyes on Jesus because the floods may come, but his majesty reigns over it. He says in verse five, you dec your decrees are very sure. What you say is sure. You're not a man that you should lie. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, forevermore. God is king. Jesus is king. His kingly decrees are sure. If you're going to speak anything, say what he says. His decrees are sure. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. Come on, let's pray. Father, I thank you again for this moment. 
Appreciate you for this time. Thank you for this day. Thank you, Lord, for that. You are still the king. You reign forevermore. You are that type of God who overcomes the chaos in our lives, that when the world is panicking, you're still calm. When the storm is raging, you're still walking. When it feels like we're overwhelmed by the storm, you are relaxing because you know the outcome. We thank you that you have your eyes on everything. You're the God that never slumbers. You are the God that never sleeps. And we give you praise for that, that you're always watching your children. And even during this time and even in this moment, you're still watching over us. And for that, we give you praise. We honor you today for all of your goodness, all of your mercy. Help us to know that you still reign. Increase our faith today. Thank you, Lord, for showing us peace in trouble. Help us to follow your direction, to walk on the thing we're struggling with, to be calm in the middle of a storm, to trust and believe that your majesty is reigning and you reign over our chaos. Thank you for being in control. Thank you for being in charge. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. So glad you can join me this morning. See you tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. as we continue in Psalm. We're going to start Psalm 94 tomorrow. God bless you.